Freezing point is important for frozen foods since major changes of the properties occur at the freezing point. Thus, we need to measure the freezing point of foods. In an earlier video, I have defined what is freezing point. Freezing point is the temperature at which the ice crystals appear when both liquid water and solid ice form a critical mass. And both phases, that is liquid water and solid ice crystals, coexist in equilibrium. We could observe unstable ice formation during supercooling before an equilibrium stage at freezing point. Why a sudden jump at the ice nucleation? I have explained the physics in my earlier video, freezing process, as explained by cooling curve, basic understanding. Freezing point is a thermodynamic equilibrium, thus we need to use slow cooling for the equilibrium process. However, very slow cooling could reduce the sensitivity of the cooling curve method. In the case of water, the freezing plateau remains constant at 0 degree C, that is freezing point of water remains at 0 degree C until all water is frozen. After that, we could observe tempering. Now we can compare cooling curves of water and solution and then foods. First, we could observe the pre-freezing when sensible heat is removed to reduce the temperature. Second is the ice nucleation. In this stage, ice formation is not at equilibrium stage. That is, ice formation and melting could be observed and critical mass of ice is not formed. Third, the temperature reaches is highest, that is freezing point. The process of lowering temperature below freezing point is called supercooling. Then temperature decreases as the freezing progresses. Two important differences can be observed here as compared to the freezing point of water. First, the freezing point decreases from the freezing point of water 0 degree C and it is called freezing point depression. Second, the freezing plateau decreases instead of a constant temperature 0 degree C and it is due to the progressive concentration of unfrozen solution due to the formation of ice during the freezing process. I am going to explain these two points in the next slides. As the freezing progresses, solution becomes concentrated and solute crystals could form and we could observe eutectic point. After that, we could observe tempering as the temperature decreases to the equilibrium point with the cooling environment. We could understand freezing point depression from this example. 50 ml of pure water in a beaker was placed in a minus 50 degree C cold chamber for determining its cooling curve. We observe the freezing point at 0 degree C as expected for water. Again, another 50 ml of fructose solution in a beaker was placed in a minus 50 degree C environment for determining its cooling curve. The concentration of fructose solution was 30%. We observed cooling curve and the freezing point at minus 4.7 degree C. In this case, the freezing point was decreased to minus 4.7 degree C instead of 0 degree C. The decrease of freezing point is called freezing point depression. This depression of freezing point depends on the concentration and types of solutes, for example molecular weight and its interaction with water. Why this depression of freezing point? I am going to explain it in the next slide from the entropy, that is randomness of the system. Liquid water can have high entropy as compared to solid ice. It is due to the high mobility of the liquid water as compared to solid ice. Therefore, we need to cool water at 0 degree C to reduce the entropy. In the case of solution, entropy can be higher than pure water due to the presence of solid. Therefore, we need to cool much lower 
than 0 degree C in order to form ice. In the earlier example of fructose solution, therefore we observe the freezing point at minus 4.7 degree C at 30 percent fructose solution. Consider fructose solutions of 10 percent, 15 percent, 30 percent and 40 percent and freezing points were measured as minus 1.1 degree C, minus 1.9 degree C, minus 4.7 degree C and minus 7.7 degree C. We can plot the freezing point as a function of solid concentration and it is called freezing curve. Therefore, freezing curve is the relationship between freezing point and solid concentration. In the case of foods, we could consider multiple solutes including soluble and insoluble solids. In the case of cooling curve of water, we could observe horizontal freezing plateau that is constant temperature at 0 degree C until all water forms into ice. However, in the case of solution, we could observe that freezing temperature decreases with time. Why? Consider a solution. After freezing point, critical mass of ice is formed from the solution and then freezing progresses. This can cause the concentration of solution in the solution phase and decrease of freezing point with the progressive concentration of solution phase as water is transformed into ice. Therefore, freezing plateau of solution decreases with time as ice formation progresses. In this solution, at the time of freezing, water molecules are 53 and solid molecules are 13. Therefore, molar concentration is 19.7 percent. The freezing point, for example, minus 1.2 degree C. After some time, when freezing progresses, the solution becomes concentrated. Water molecules are 37, solid molecules are 13, and ice molecules are 16. Molar concentration of solution, that is water phase, is 35.1 percent. Therefore, the freezing point needs to be lower than minus 1.2 degree C. For example, it is minus 2.8 degree C. This progressing freezing process and concentration of water phase causes a decrease of the freezing plateau with time in the case of solution. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end and supporting my channel.